It, ooh, 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 ooh. It's time for that ghoulness time. Yes, season two, Tokyo Ghoul, episode three. Kind of keys, a fucking bees, a savage, a monster. It's a no brainer. I don't know, like, what he has this gravitational pull to bring these big players and these crazy people towards him. I don't know if it's a new look. I don't know if it's because of the rumors, okay, that he's a savage. Okay, even the CCG are looking for him. They call him the eye patch fucking ghoul, eye patch fucking person. He's making a name for himself. I mean, he got the new look, he got the swag out gear. Don't know where it is. But but, but Kon Konaki is doing big plays. Okay, you got Hinami. She's going out in the war alone. At the whole fiasco with her mother, you know, you know, traumatized and all that jazz. She's finally, you know, doesn't want to bother, you know, Toka. She's going out on her own, going to a book signing. And that author, uh, uh, Tats uh what, Tatesuki Sin, something like that, that girl, there's something fishy about her. The smiles, the creepy smiles, the little smirks. There's something about that girl. Uh, is she a ghoul? I don't know. Is she somebody special? Could be, most likely. But you know, when she heard the name Kaneki Ken, she's just like Kaneki Ken. Like, I mean, Kaneki is making a name for himself. Also, Toko's going to the same school that Kaneki went to. Kami, you know, Nishiki took her show around a little bit, but he had a, had a, he had to handle his own business with his girls. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Look around. She meets up with Kaneki's best friend. <sighs> They get to talking, and, you know, she wants to know about Kaneki. He tells a little bit about Kaneki, you know, who's, you know, re always reading books. who's was alone after, his, after the whole mom thing situation, her mom, her, his mom death. Also, Kaneki's best friend is getting a, a, a lot close. I, he Maybe he knows something up about Kaneki missing. Maybe he added it up. One plus one equals two. He's adding up about the eye patch. Kaneki maybe connected. CG, the CCG connected the eye patch goal. To Kaneki, okay, about the whole, you know, Kaneki, the whole accident, you know, he had, he had surgery done, something implants, implanted in him, and, you know, he's missing from school, time, the dates, the mashup, he's the eye patch, the CCG connected that. Also, Kaneki has met up with other one-eyed ghouls, and he was like, oh, they're, they're one-eyed ghouls? What the fuck? Also, they broke out this crazy fuck. This crazy fucking guy. What's his name? Is Naki? This guy was under the wing of Jason, the underling of Jason, okay? And we all know how crazy Jason is. He even did the finger thing like Jason does, okay? And he's crazy. Uh, and he finds out that Jason is dead. Okay, he's crying, he's going crazy. Even, uh, you know, Ayato's like, Dude, really? Like, who, like this guy is fucking nut. It's a nut job. Like, really? We had to, like, you know, break him out, this guy? Like, he says, this is a psychopath. Like, he, can we contain this guy? Like, why do the IB want this guy on our fucking team? He may be crazy, but he might be crazy fucking strong. A big asset to the fucking group, to the organization, I agree. But Kaneki showed off his soft side. Like, he showed that Kaneki is still in this Kaneki Ken that we all know before, the whole fucking Jason shit, is still in there. Okay, the fucking person who used to work at the coffee shop, okay? With Toka, Nishiki, the old boss, everybody. They, they, he's still in there because he's trying to, uh, Naki is trying to spell out, uh, you know, Jason's name. And, and he was, he spelled it all wrong. He, he fucked it. He, he butchered his fucking name, okay? He tried to spell it out with crayons. And, you know, as the Ring Rainbow Sesame Street Kaneki soft side came, comes out, he writes the name correctly. And he's like, oh, the knock is like, oh, you're a great guy, you're a good guy, thank you, you know, you know what I'm saying, thank you. He's like, no problem, whatever. And uh, and also, uh, Sugiyama is looking for Kaneki, and he, he's hearing rumors about Kaneki's a cannibal. Uh, he's a cannibal. Okay, and there's rumors going about Kaneki. He ate Jason, blah blah blah. He's ate the cannibal, and that turns off Sukiyama. Once again, Sukiyama is turned off. Like, oh, more spices added to fucking Kaneki's body. Oh my god, I want to eat him. I guess he's looking for Kaneki. Uh, and he's infiltrating the Aragiri organization and trying to look for Kaneki, and he's getting a fucking boner, and he wants to orgasm bus loads over Kaneki's new spices inside his body. Uh, also, Kaneki and Ayato are going to this, you know, this, you know, 
containments, okay, this, you know, a place where they detain strong, uh, what I think they say S and SS rank ghouls, like the crazy strong, crazy fucking, you know, you know, and said, I was like, I don't, if, of all the places I want to work, I don't want to work there. So, you know, that's, it's a crazy fucking place. Also, they're containing S and SA rank ghouls, and Ayato and, and the Iconic are going there to break out those ghouls and, you know, and get them out of there. Not, I want to say all, maybe all, maybe a certain, a certain, you know, you know, a certain person or certain people inside that place, they're going to break out. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much, uh, episode, uh, Tokyo Ghoul, season, season two, episode three, kind of gets savage. Toka still feeling some type of way about Kaneki, what's to know about Kaneki, going to the same place, Kami, university, whatever. Uh, Hinami going outside the world alone. She's moving on. She's developing. She's you know getting outside more. Okay, she doesn't need to be held and you no know, hold her hand. She wants to go alone. Okay, well she's watching out for the doves, but she's adventuring out alone. Doesn't want to be around Toka and be a burden for everybody. She's you know she's she's strong. She's strong enough to go uh, go alone this time. And you uh, know. You know, Kaneki's best friend's getting too close to the investigation. He's not stupid. He's smart. I'm pretty sure he knows some things. I'm pretty sure he pieced some. He pieced some pieces together. Okay, and Akira got her eye on him. I'm pretty sure Akira know what's up. She's not a stupid girl. At the end of the day, who dart is that exactly? Okay. But the CCG are is after the eye patch. You know who it is, Kaneki Ken, and. I don't, it's just like Kaneki is attracting these big players towards him. I don't know. I don't know what it is. He's special. I get it. But what is what 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 is it? What is it? Why are they fucking attracted to Kaneki? Okay, it just can't be he's, he's just a one eye goal. Okay, yeah, that's a fucking point. But it, got, it has to be something else. Okay, it's a rumor he's crazy strong, and it's a rumor going around he's cannibal and all this stuff. It's just everybody wants a piece of Kaneki Ken. Okay, okay, why is Kaneki Ken? Part of the Aragiri. We're like, why is he doing this? We don't know, but it's big plays. It's Tokyo Ghoul. The Ghoulness. Let's go.